Welcome back to Amazing Websites Television, the show where intelligent people like you come find the tools to change the rules. Welcome back to Amazing Website Television. This is Ernesto Verdugo, and we are right now on board of the Natchez um, a River paddle boat, a steamboat in the Mississippi River, very close to uh, New Orleans. And we're going to be having a very, very interesting show uh, today. We're going to be con we're going to be talking about content curation. We're going to be talking about uh, how actually we can create a lot of content for our websites, and uh, without really having to uh, write all the content ourselves. And also, we're going to be having a super uh, guest today so let's make sure that we get the show started and now let's go to our first section which is going to be handy bookmarks welcome back to handy bookmarks uh, I'm going to be sharing with you some really cool uh, resources but before I do that I have two interesting things that I want to share with you uh, first of all allow me to share with you uh, a new version of a newspaper that I actually got uh, recently from Qatar Airways. I was actually doing a trip on Qatar Airways, which I love. It's a great airline, by the way. And, uh, you know, they have this sort of like, a, uh, well, they have like a computer and a printer, and then you can say, well, you know, I would like to get uh, such and such paper, uh, uh, parts of the newspaper, and then they will actually get uh, your uh, custom-made uh, printed version of the new newspaper there for you. I think this is brilliant because, of course, I mean, you're, they're not giving you all sorts of uh, pages in the newspaper that you're not going to be reading. They just give you the information that you want, and uh, I think it's just absolutely genius. So, I just wanted to share this with you, and the other thing that I wanted to share with you is uh, something that I actually catalog as fraud. And uh, I definitely want to expose these people because I think they're absolutely despicable. It is a company called Domain Registry. Uh, of America and they are located in 2316 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo, New York and uh, what they do is they send you an email uh, they, sorry they send you a mail with uh, something that actually looks pretty uh, official and then you open the letter and there's a bill and there on this bill they say well you know this is Domain Registry of America which of course it sounds like if it is a, a very official name and then they tell you it's a domain expiration notice and then they say, as a courtesy, we want to let you know that your domain is about to expire. And they send it to you just a few days before this, uh, the, the, uh, the domain is supposed to expire, even though possibly you would have already re-registered it in GoDaddy or anywhere else. And then they tell you, well, you know, I mean, you uh, just register, register it what, right now. And if you register for one year, you will only pay $35. If you pay, register for two years, you will only pay $60, which is just an absolute repo. Because if you will do it just regularly, as you will do it in your domain registrar, you will only be paying 7 to $10 for it, right? Now, the interesting thing about this, of course, I mean, this is an absolute repo. But then they have the fine print. And on this fine print, which is written in about font number two, I mean, it is, you actually literally need a uh, magnifying glass to actually see this, uh, this uh, uh, fine print. It basically says that you give them the right to actually administer and uh, take care of your domain whenever you're actually sending this information. So I think this is an absolutely despicable uh, internet fraud and I want to expose it because I don't, I don't want anybody to actually be caught in this kind of situation. So anyway, those were the two things that I wanted to share with you. So now let's go to our uh, five great resources that I have for you today. So the first um, uh, resource that I want to share with you today, it's called mypermissions.org. So in mypermissions.org, the way that this works is, I mean, possibly, for example, you have um, uh, been in Facebook and there in Facebook, you say, well, you know, I mean, if you actually um, want to get these, you have to click here so that you will be able to um, 
get a, a, a free report or possibly you will get some points for Farmville or possibly you will be getting whatever. Anyway, what happens is that suddenly these permissions that we have given to God knows who, suddenly they start posting stuff in our, in our um, uh, page or they start doing some sort of things that possibly we are not really in agree with and then we have no clue how to get rid of that crap. So this website, which is called mypermissions.org, you can just go there and you, can be able, you will be able to get rid of all the crap that at some point you agreed and you didn't really understand, understood what it was and uh, suddenly they started doing stuff that it was not really for you. Now, the second uh, resource that I want to share with you, it's called IFTTT. What it is, it is a software that you will be able to create really cool templates where you will be able uh, to, to uh, there are macro templates that you will be able to actually uh, uh, program stuff. So for example, let's say uh, every time that I do something in Facebook, I would also like it to appear on my um, Twitter. Every time that I do, that I upload a picture in Pinterest, I would also like it to appear on my blog. So you will be able to create those scripts by simple, I mean, uh, touches of a button. Actually, there's thousands upon thousands of scripts which are already there for free available for you so that you will be able to save a lot of time doing social media and doing all sorts of uh, regular uh, tasks that you're doing. So if, it's actually, if then, if then do that or something like that. So that's basically what it is all about. It is basically like a macro thing, which is like all the rules that uh, you can just set them there and uh, you can just do a lot of very, very cool stuff to automate uh, or semi-automate a lot of tasks on the internet. So that's another uh, great tool, ifttt.com. Now, next um, uh, resource that I want to share with you is called marketing.grading.com. This belongs to HubSpot. HubSpot is a great uh, resource uh, because, of course, they have a lot of information. But what I love about this marketing grader, what you do is you will put the URL of your website on a search engine that they have, and it will give you all sorts of information about how good or how bad your uh, website is actually done. So it will tell you some details about the, uh, the search engine optimization that you have on the site. It will also give you some incredible information about uh, how good your content is. It will give you some information about uh, things that you need to do to improve your site. All sorts of great things. It's a free resource and it is just absolutely amazing. And the last but not least uh, service, it's, it's a service that I think you're going to really like. It is called Dispostable.com. And on Dispostable.com, what you can do is you can instantly, you just go to Dispostable.com, you can create any email address that you would like. For example, uh, Ernesto3333 at Dispostable.com. You will actually use that email address on any way that you're in, anywhere on the internet where you're actually signing for some sort of subscription. And uh, that, that email address will never actually reach your uh, sacred um, uh, email folder because, of course, everything will be going to the disposable uh, email. But obviously, I mean, that's actually one of the great ways to get rid of spam on your service. So I hope that you really enjoy these resources. And now let's go back to New Orleans. So great resources, don't you think? I am right now here in uh, New Orleans, as I was telling you, just back here we can see the, the beautiful Mississippi River, which actually is the third biggest uh, river in the world after the Amazon and the Nile. And uh, it is just uh, absolutely fantastic. We're going to give you a taste a little bit of what the city of New Orleans is, uh, is about. Uh, right now I, de I decided to actually just uh, uh, show you the river because I thought it was great. But uh, before I, we go into the uh, French Quarter, into other beautiful places in New Orleans, let's just go into the next section of the show where we're going to be talking about uh, continuing on our topic, which is going to be content creation. And uh, as I was telling you, in the content creation part, right now the word is uh, curation. And that's exactly what we're going to be uh, talking a little bit further uh, now. So la right now, let me just show you another great product in our feature presentation and now our feature presentation Jack is passionate about electric guitar not only does he play a lot but he also frequently browses the web Jack is looking for all the best content about electric guitar because he's been into this for years Jack knows a lot on electric guitar but no one knows that Jack wants to share his passion he would love to create media to express himself easily. He tried some existing tools, 
but they didn't quite meet his needs. Blogs can be complex to set up and maintain, and inspiration isn't granted every day. Neither is the time to write. And in the end, he is simply better at playing guitar than writing. If only there were a better, more effective solution. Good news! Today, the solution exists. Now that he's discovered Scoop It, Jack creates his topic about electric guitar. Scoop It crawls the web for him and regularly feeds him with suggested content on electric guitar. Jack simply selects or scoops the best ones. And of course, he can edit at will too if he feels inspired. He can also grab the pages he likes whenever browsing the web. And in just a few clicks, he's created a beautiful web page dedicated to his favorite topic. Now he can share his topic with the world and invite people to follow it. When people check his topic, they're happy to discover great content curated by Jack. And furthermore, they can participate by suggesting relevant links they found on their site. Jack is now very proud of his topic. And you, what's your favorite topic? Scoop it. So I hope that you really like that uh, piece of software. I think it's really very, very useful. As I was telling you, uh, this kind of software is going to really help you start creating a lot of content for your website without you having to actually do all the, all the work. Uh, right now, I'm going to be enjoying a little bit more of New Orleans. As you can see over here, I am just in the French Quarter. It's absolutely beautiful here. Just over there, you can see the rest of the French Quarter. On that side, you can see Jefferson Square and uh, St. Anthony uh, uh, Cathedral. And right now, we're going to go take a very nice uh, uh, ride. But before we do that, what we're going to be doing is going to our next section of the show, which is going to be triple your internet intelligence. Hey everyone, we're going to give you a quick tour of the Magnify platform so that you can see just a little bit of the capabilities of the service and what we're able to do. Now, we power a lot of different sites, so to begin with, we just wanted to show you s sort of the breadth of what the service does. So this is New York Magazine. I'm sure you've seen the site. It's very clean and elegant. But what you don't know is that if you click on the Video tab, you end up on their video collection, which is a deep, rich experience with lots of video, with their trade dress, the black, this taxonomy here on the left. This is a Magnify delivered page in videos.nymag.com, delivered to their pixel perfect specifications with a very, very large collection of videos that they curate. Very different experience, very different looking site is Patagonia. Again, their trade dress, very specific pixel perfect. If you click here on videos, you find yourself in the in the Patagonia site. 16 by 9 thumbnails, rounded corners, really beautiful looking page, very different than New York Magazine. And then for something completely different, if you swing over to TED and the TEDx site, you'll see, again, a site that's very dynamic, different color scheme, different look and feel. And if you click on the TEDx videos, you'll find yourself here also, as you can see down here, powered by Magnify, very different than the kind of templated video experiences that you'd expect to see it with a player in a box or with a series of, of rigid platforms uh, or templates. For the next few minutes, what I want to do, though, is actually take you someplace very special, take you under the hood so that you can take a look not simply at what the Magnify pages look like, but how they're built and how super easy it is for you to build your own site. Now, to do that, obviously, we're not going to take you inside the TEDx or the New York Magazine or the Patagonia sites because those are proprietary. But we do have this one, which we enjoy. This is Dog Nation TV. So this is what the public sees when they go to dognation.magnify.net. They see a great big video player up top. They see a live Twitter feed. Then they see a series of collections down below. But I'm going to take you to a place you haven't seen before into the platform itself. So I've gone ahead and I've logged in. We're now in the admin tool. And what we're going to do is search for and build a playlist and then show you simply how quickly we can build both a player experience and an embedded player experience and a page experience all in real time. So to begin with, let's just take a look at the existing home page. 
So part of the magic of Magnify is that it is an entire drag and drop interface. So everything you see on that home page, on the public facing page, is right here a series of drag and drop interfaces so that you can literally redesign the page in real time. So let's go ahead and search for some videos. So let's say that we had a terrific dog show in town and we actually want to search for videos with the keywords dog show. Now notice like Google or any other search engine the more sophisticated a search you build the more keywords you use the more sophisticated a result you're gonna get so I'm gonna search on the broad term dog show. Now important while we're searching to understand this is not looking at videos from our index this is an our view of the web this is the web in real time we've run the search and we found large collections of videos with the keyword dog show now in the case of YouTube they only show 950 because that's the YouTube API uh, limit but obviously many 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 more than that and daily motion many more and grab networks has 50 and then as you go down Vimeo VO Hulu clip syndicate five min all offering big collections of dog videos I'm just gonna go ahead and click check all and post check videos now different curators will use this service in different ways I tend to like to scoop up 25 or 30 videos and then pick my top five favorites but different people will use it differently so we've gone ahead and we've added 20 or 30 videos from each service with the keywords dog show and now we've got that playlist we've designed the home page so let's go ahead and take the home page and take this grid view and we're just gonna take the dog show playlist and save it and now if we end up back on the public site if we click on it very quickly you see a Vimeo player pulls up within the trade dress of Dog Nation it's pretty cool so that's the Magnify platform in a quick overview. We're obviously not going to get into analytics today or the ad network integration piece or the APIs. There's lots more here, but I just wanted you to get a sense of how powerful the platform is. So thanks for checking it out. You know, one of the things that I really like doing in this show is making you more uh, internet intelligent. And uh, one of the things that, of course, is helping tremendously on the internet is the fact that we can outsource stuff to someone else. If you're actually an internet entrepreneur, that you will be able to create, uh, uh, that you will be able to have someone else somewhere else doing stuff for you, which basically is called outsourcing. And uh, I am really happy to have on the show uh, a guy that I've been following already for a number of years that I completely trust, that I know that he's really uh, the go-to guy on the subject of outsourcing, and uh, his name is John Jonas. So, John, welcome to the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. It is uh, absolutely great to have you here because uh, I think that there's no other person uh, with more knowledge on uh, the topic of out, uh, outsourcing than you. Thank you. <laughs> At least in my very, point of view. Very flattering. <laughs> <laughs> At least in my point of view. So, well, first of all, would you uh, like to explain uh, uh, just, I mean, let's just get some, some very much into, into meaty content. So what I would like to know from you is what are some uh, great uh, tips on, on before you're actually hiring somebody? I mean, let's just, let's just go through the, through the uh, uh, recruiting process. Where do you recruit from? Uh, wh uh, what are the qualities or how do you, should, do you, do you think that you could actually be uh, getting the right people for doing the kind of tasks that uh, you will be sending to them? Okay, so in terms of recruiting, first of all, go to the Philippines with it. Um, it's a completely different experience than, than whatever people have experienced before. It's different than what they've done in India, it's different than what they've done wherever else. Let's, let me just interrupt you on that one because yeah. actually you got a very interesting point. I mean, my audience, good part of my audience is in the Middle East, and that's a question that I get asked all the time. 
why the Philippines instead of India? I mean, obviously in the in the in the, in the Middle East, we have a, a high uh, number, a high population of uh, Indian people. So yeah. the question is, why the Philippines and not India? No, well, there are a couple different reasons. Number one, in the the Philippines, English is a primary language. It's everyone speaks English, and so you just get better English there. Uh, number two, culturally, there are some there are some like power distance relationship issues that that are that are much better suited for hiring someone in the Philippines than India where you can you're just, it's just going to be easier to get straight answers out of them it's going to be easier to get uh, to get figure out what's going on and what problems are when problems happen it's a lot easier to figure that stuff out in the Philippines than with India you know and, and that's not a bad thing about India it's just different yeah right um, so the other thing, number number three, I guess, about the Philippines is it's a lot more affordable than India is right now. Where you can hire someone in India, it's like ten dollars an hour. That same person in the Philippines is like a dollar sixty an hour for the same same skills, right? Um, so so there, I mean, there there are a bunch of reasons why the Philippines over India. Uh, so how do you find Filipinos? Yeah. There there are a couple of different places. You can go to odesk.com which will let you hire Filipinos on like a, a per project basis or an hourly basis. Yeah. It's not what I do, but it, it works for a lot of people. Uh, you can go to onlinejobs.ph, which is uh, the biggest Filipino database. Yeah, there are over 50,000 Filipino resumes there. You go on, you search for them, you find the you find someone that has the skill set you're looking for. You hire them full time to work for you. Now, uh, so we have covered okay where now where where would you find them on the internet? Now I think it's one of the big questions that most people are really asking themselves is the hiring process. All right. How does that work? So I mean, it, it, so let's talk about online jobs because Odesk it's uh, I mean it's pretty clear. You go on you you put a you put a project out there. You get people say, saying this is I'll do it for this much per hour. Right. Online jobs is different. Where you're hiring this person as like a permanent, full-time virtual assistant to work with you in your business through ups and downs and stuff. It's really a different experience. So, the hiring process that I will typically go through is I'll email a whole bunch of people, people that I think have have skills that that I'm looking for, and uh, I'll send a generic email out saying I'm looking for a full-time person. I want to pay around this much. I might may I might not even say how much I want to pay. But I'm looking for a full-time person. Are you available? And I just wait for responses to come back. And then, as responses come back, I'll reply to them with more questions. How's your internet connection? Where do you live? Do you have another job? How long have you done this? What kind of experience do you have? And I'll just ask different questions, trying to trying to get a feel for them. And then I also want to see, like, how good is their English? I want to see how responsive are they? Because the better English they have, the more responsive they are, the better of an experience you're going to have. Uh, and then once you have gone through that and you figure out, okay, this is the right person, then you figure out how much you want to pay them and you give them a task. Give, give them a task to do. And they start working for you. And I mean, that can take one day, literally, and you have someone working for you full time. Fantastic. Uh, one of the questions that I keep on also getting, and I think uh, you will have a great answer for it, is what can actually be outsourced yeah so what would that the answer be for that one? okay so I have guys in the Philippines that they do the research for what websites we should be building they gather all the data they build the websites they write the content for the websites they do the marketing for the websites they do the SEO and the link building and the articles and the videos and they'll write autoresponders for the websites they will um, they'll join affiliate programs and put affiliate links on the site so I have a girl that writes sales copy for me, and and you know it's not it's not the best sales copy ever, but it works. Um, I have people that do programming and design work, so you can get really great programming work done in the Philippines. Really good design work done. Uh, their English is fantastic, so they can write really good content. Um, but here's what you can't do: you can't go and buy an ebook. And send it to someone in the Philippines and say, "Hey, I want you to implement this." Yeah. The problem with that is that most of the training that's out there, most of the eBooks or the courses or the membership sites or whatever it is, it's it has all been designed for you, the entrepreneur, to implement. It's it's specifically 
whoever created it thought of you, the business owner, as they're creating it, and you're going to be the one doing the work. And so if you give that to an employee, they'll just run into all kinds of thought problems where you need to go through it and filter it for them so that you're still making the business decisions. Because if you're not, then it won't work. Fantastic. Well, I would love to keep on talking to you, but we have very, very limited time. So um, I definitely recommend you to uh, connect with uh, with John. I mean, I, I uh, follow his uh, his course. He has on his website. He has some amazing, uh, great. Uh, well, it's a recording where you have saying all this incredible information. That recording yeah. itself is just absolutely awesome. Thank you. And uh, the way that he actually trains you on how to do recruiting and how to actually get the best. Uh, um, uh, outsources in the Philippines is absolutely amazing. So, uh, if you would like to go to the website, which is just now appearing on front of your screen, I really recommend you to go and check uh, John out because he's just absolutely amazing. And as you know, he's one of the people that I endorse fully. He's 100% uh, uh, right on the money on, on the things that he says. And I uh, I really appreciate that you were on the show. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you so much, John. it. So well, this pretty much wraps it up for the day. And right now, I think it's time for me to go and celebrate in the uh, French Quarter. So uh, once again, this is Ernesto Verdugo, and this is Amazing Websites Television, the show where intelligent people like you can find the tools to change the rules. See you next week.